insane. Malice Darkblade. Definitely the most annoying uh, <laughs> enemy to deal with right now. Alright, looks like they're marching out to meet us. Oh boy, they have all of their troops. Alright, this is going to be interesting. Malice Darkblade. This army is scary. And all the other armies are just garbage tier. God damn. Alright, we're not going to control large army, I don't think. And we'll, uh, we'll just try to see what we can do. It doesn't look great, but, you know, I think there is a chance. Um, when we're not controlling large army, that means we can deal with everything as it comes. And then these, uh, if we could just get past this army, then everything else is fine. Because even just my reinforcements can probably deal with both of those. It's like, it's like all or nothing here, man. Here we go. Big boy fight. Oh boy, here we go. It's, it's important battle time. So, it looks like their reinforcements are coming from behind. That's not great. Now, since we're not controlling large army, uh, only 20 units can be on the field at a time. So, we don't have to worry about this too much right off the bat. Uh, it's just dealing with Malice's army, first and foremost. And then after that, uh, dealing with the rest of them. And hopefully, we can just beat... Like, the first two armies? It's just all those elites we gotta worry about in that secondary army. That's the scary stuff. They do have a Charybdis, which is uh, a really good anti-large uh, monster that the uh, that the uh, Dark Elves can field. And so that's pretty scary. Uh, definitely do not want to be caught in, in that. That's gonna be probably our, our like, high-priority target once it comes onto the field. But for now, you just gotta worry about Malice Darkblade's army. It's it doesn't really have anything in it. That's too scary. They do have a Death Hag on a on a Blood Cauldron, which is interesting. Malice Darkblade is a bound fireball spell. Okay. Okay, all of you guys like calm down. Uh, bring you guys up for uh, just posterity's sake. You guys get in there. Okay, now we can actually get a burning head over here. And that's going to be really nice. Okay, good. We're overwhelming those guys. Pterodon Riders uh, fire into those guys. Uh, yeah, you, you just fire in. Oh, that was, a, that was a nice burning skull. Uh-oh. Alright, perfect. Man, these, 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 uh, Doomfire Warlocks, though, are holding off better than I expected. Uh, the other ones broke pretty quickly, which was more what I was anticipating. Yeah, you're just gonna... Just gonna hang around, overlap these engagements, wait for more burning skulls. Unfortunately, it's like the only spell that we have with our Salon Mage Priest. The Troglodon, you don't really want to be in melee. Vivification Crystal. Yeah, just get in there. Vivification Crystal is gonna be really important. Oh, yeah, she did that death hag for sure. Uh, you guys, keep on them. Keep on them. Uh, need you over here to help break these guys. Come on, throw those fire, throw those fire leech bullets. They're all, like, super blobbed up, so, like, those, those fire leech bullets are going to do hella work. Okay, reinforcements are starting to come in. See what's happening over here. Okay, Troglodon. You don't really want to be fighting that master. He does have bonus versus large. Uh, on, on this, you can probably take these guys. Doomfire Warlocks, they're... They're, like, near-breaking anyways. Sends you over to help out. Right, 
bring you guys in. Dread Spears getting overwhelmed. Do you start, they're starting to trickle in some reinforcements finally. Get the revivification crystal more towards the center. And don't forget, my, my Lord does have a health potion on him as well. Man, these Dread Spears are holding out, though. Yeah, there we go. Getting that Death Hag down. Bring these guys down. Oh, dude. Oh, and the uh, Ancient Stegodon coming in with those those blowpipes. Right, get in there, you guys. Take that thing down. Those Dread Spears are really still hanging in there, huh? There we go. Death Hag is down. Keep on pushing, man. Our horned ones are getting messed up, though. Okay, I do not want my lord fighting over here. Where's Malice? Dude, he's still at, like, full HP. Okay, we like we need to like regroup our stuff here. How's Malice looking? Yeah. He's just such a beast, man. We don't really have any good options for taking him down. Okay. Pterodon Riders, you're gonna go mess up our re their reinforcements. Now they are in March stance, so they're gonna be exhausted, they're gonna be tired. I just, I need, like, all my guys to come back. Lord, no. Okay, you do not want to be fighting a master in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Uh, or you could revivification crystal, crystal him. That's probably the play. Like, if our lord goes down, like, we're fucked. Okay, bring you guys over here. Oh, you guys are running out of ammo. That's not good. Well, I mean, you can still drop bombs, so they're not out of this yet. Okay, bringing the Chameleon Skinks to get some overlapping fire support going down. Primeval Roar, get that going. Oh yeah, those Dark Shards just falling. Okay, we had our other lord come in. Okay, drop your rocks. Drop your rocks. Perfect. Okay, you come over here. You're all melee guys now at this point. Just murder malice, please. Like, literally, like, everyone in on top of him. I mean, Skinks are running out of ammo, holy. If he gets completely surrounded, surely that has to be enough, right? <laughs> right? Okay, you guys, since you have ammo, you guys can actually skirmish these guys as they come in. Uh, since you don't have ammo, you're just getting committed into melee. like buff up these guys so that they're I really want you to be shooting at those Harganeth Executioners because they don't have shields bring in our lord yeah you guys are melee boys now their mages are getting into melee. Unfortunately, we don't have like a flaming sort of ruin to buff up all these guys. Okay, just got my croc score engine coming. Now you guys like keep you guys keep it keep it real. Me and Skinks are gonna engage them first in melee, and then we have the Teradon Riders come back. Okay, Chameleon Skinks, if they go that way, 
uh, they can distract for a while. Okay, Croxagore Ancient is going to actually be able to have some single killer or single entity killing, like, potential here. Okay, just, like, go into those guys, I guess. Let's, like, get the whole death blob going here. You guys in behind. Yeah, you distract, distract, distract as much as possible. Okay, Croxagore Ancient's finally in. He's into the mix. Yeah, there we go. What else is pretty low. Let me get these horned ones healed up a little bit. You guys just distract as much as possible, man. Alright. Nope, push on. God damn it, why does it keep changing my orders? It's like not what I want, man. We're just going like blob strategies now. Yeah, there we go. And these lords are finally getting down. Okay, Troglodon, like come out, come out of the mix. And skinks just being annoying, as they should. Okay, our, our units coming in from that angle is really annoying. How are units healing? Okay, you just like spit. Okay, Malice has gone Super Saiyan. Now he's gonna be constantly losing HP. Come on. Spit your poison. There you go. There we go, burning skull on top of those guys. Wonderful. Crocs were ancient. You don't really want to fight Malice. We just want to ignore Malice. We want to ignore Malice, Dark Blade. We have the mass to push through. So it shouldn't be that big of a deal. You can, like, spit into over here. take out that Supreme Sorceress, that would be good. What are the location crystal doing? Okay, um... Trogodon's pretty low. Okay, here we go. Reinforcements are coming. Here comes the hordes. If we can, like, make them, like, mega group up, that's, like, really tanky. I guess our vivification crystal, if I can pull you through and just, like, have them surround you, that would be really good. Or, like, the ancient Stegadon, too. Like, that works. And we can get off a really nice uh, burning skull. Yeah, Malice Darkblade is definitely the biggest issue right now. Oh, perfect. They're they're doing just what I wanted them to do. Oh, that's beautiful. That's a thing of beauty right there. And then if we can bring in the rest of our boys here. Again, just like try to ignore Malice as much as possible. Okay, Skink Chief. Yeah, he he that was not where he wanted to be. Pale Death honestly should come out. Bring you around over to here. There's an invocation crystal in there. And we're good at murdering these hordes. Like, again, all the Dread Spears just aren't going to do anything. They're just going to rout and shatter and rout and shatter. The Hargoneth Executioners are the worry. And they have not brought in their Charybdis yet. Which is also kind of worrying. I actually kind of want to get out of here. If we can, like, regroup with all of our reinforcements coming from over here, that would be better.
don't quite have enough for an, for an overcast version. Pop down a regular one, get you out of there, and then pull these guys out. If possible. Get them away. Send you guys away. Just like pull through. Regroup with our uh, with our source. Let's get out of there. And all of you guys just keep on running. And then we can have our, our, our source warriors and stuff come up. It's like, we're way too... No, do not turn around and fight. Do not turn around and fight. Do not turn around and fight. Okay. Bring up these guys. We got some more chameleon skinks. That's nice. No, do not turn around and fight. Get our get our source lines up. We need that support for our monsters. Okay, we got some more some more cold one spear riders going. Okay, pop down the revivification on those guys. Okay, you guys are the new group three. Bring you guys up. Bring all you guys like over to here, if possible. Okay, like shoot into those Argonath executioners. Okay, we're getting some more Pterodon riders. Fire leech bull is perfect. Have okay, you guys like pulled in there? You're gonna bring group five around. Bring these guys around. Okay, perfect. All those, all those Argonath Executioners are routing. Perfect. You guys are all part of Group 1 now. Bring you guys around. Chameleon Sphinx just have an Overwatch fire. Okay, good. We have another uh, Burning Skull throwdown. Oh, that's that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Oh, revivification crystal, no. You got completely surrounded. Okay, except for you, Slong. Hey, you guys just provide overwatch fire? Honestly, yeah, get those guys in there. I want them to die. Like, if a unit is, like, out of ammo or low on health, like, they just need to die so we can get fresh ones cycled in. Like, a primeval roar going down. Buff up all of our boys. Skinks, you can, like, fire in now. Uh, you guys should... Guys with ammo should come around to this side. Can just bring you guys in. Good. We got some really nice shots coming in from behind here. We should like put some fire down on Malice. Yeah, there we go. Just need something, something, anything to deal with him, you know? Okay, group one pull out. Do not want you guys getting surrounded. Okay, good. Our vivification crystal came back. Okay, just keep on like. Plinking him with that poison. That's huge. Same with the skink chief, honestly. Okay, bring you guys around. Yeah, you guys just like keep on just like plinking away at him, honestly. Hey, okay, that's what we need. The rest of you guys like come around this way, except for you. Paco Pac -co cohort, and go ahead and get that rear charge off. You guys gotta watch out. You keep on the hunt. Revivification crystal on the sacred crocs, of course, I guess. 
keep them in the fight. Man, their leadership is so good. Oh, there we go. Now, now he's finally starting to go down. Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Yeah, that Stegadon get in there. Perfect. And you're just, like, providing that Overwatch fire. Good. Malice. Malice is about to go down. He's so low. 90. Oh, 60. He's so low. Take him down, please. There we go. Wonderful. Malice is dead. That's huge. That's huge. Malice was, like, single-handedly uh, messing up our chances of winning here. Okay, you guys just, like, go suicide yourself. You guys, like, come up and, like, provide Overwatch fire or something. Can you actually turn off fire at will? And, uh, because you're going to need that for to take down the grip this. Okay, we're going to, like, regroup again. You guys all going. Revivication crystal. You have one left. Go should we put it on? Uh, let's put on the corner sword. Uh, nope, get out of there. What are you surrounded by? Like routed units? Okay, we have the Kowaddle. Or the Kodal. Whatever it is. Why aren't you moving? Bruh, why wasn't he moving? Okay, well, this is bad. Get back here. You guys abandoned your liege. For some reason, he decided it was more important for him to uh, be standing still than to actually uh, be, like, running away and preserving his own life. Oh, get him. Right, Sisters of Slaughter are not really going to like range stuff at all. Okay, here we go. Which one's the Charybdis? That's the Charybdis. Okay, perfect. So, like, it all comes down to, like, this here. Okay, those, um... Those guys need to be dealt with. ASAP. Okay, where's the Charybdis? Okay. All of you guys fire in on the Charybdis. You guys chase down those, uh... Those guys. This definitely needs to die. Okay, five. Yeah, just go after those guys. One of them ran out of ammo. That's fine. Oh my god, it routed so fast. Yes, that's that's perfect. That's so good. Okay, no, you guys like stay on it. Make sure it does not get it. It does not rally. No real good blobs going right now. Okay, uh, you guys need to, you need to get the hell out of town. We'll probably bring you back. Lord, run. Okay, if you guys can, like, put on fire onto the, the Hydra, that would be huge. Uh, don't really have a good banishment location. Just keep on them. Just keep on them you guys in for the for the rear shot and you can, like just come back uh oh crib just rallied that's not good oh my god that that breath attack on on the lord that, that did pretty good work Like take down some of these uh, Black Orc Corsairs. That'll help a little bit. Revivication Crystal's out of charges. Million Skinks. Oh, uh, these guys are coming in now. Okay, get in there, get in there. 
while you guys just like put on pressure onto that guy. Have our lord fall back here with towards his support. Revivification crystal is dead. Okay, but the, we're like on top of the Charybdis. Pop down primeval roar. Ooh, what's going after the skink chief? Like push through, Lord. Yeah, there we go. Got our reinforcements moving up. Okay, yeah, keep on that crib disc. Do not let it. Do not let it come back. Got some scourge runner chariots, but oh man, army losses is coming in. Kill that crib disc. Don't let it get away. Oh my god, victory. Oh, what a what a close battle, man. Holy shit. Take down that Charybdis. I do not want it getting away. Fucking wonderful. There we go. And this is you guys after. See if we can get after the War Hydra. The War Hydra is going to get away for sure. Oh man, what a, what a brutal battle that was. Holy shit. And a long one too. My god. Oh, I'm sorry if the commentary wasn't that great. I was I was trying to really focus in and uh, get get these guys dealt with. Hold on, There's, there might be a good uh, banishment opportunity. Ah, oh, they they separated again. Uh, that, okay, that was okay. That wasn't bad. I definitely need to kill off just as many of these guys as possible to make my future life easier. Because we won through army losses. Oh my god, Puric indeed. Ooh, man, what a what a battle. Bam, there we go. Malice Darkblade finally met him in the field and uh, and got rid of him. Holy. Dude, I only, I only get 1,505 for captives? What the fuck? Oh, man, what a, what a battle, for sure. <laughs> but Malice defeated once again. That's like all of his forces. Uh, gathered up now to be fair most of our forces are down now as well but we definitely came out on top after that all the stuff they had in march stance was just gone and our units are a-okay which is wonderful uh malice dark blade is on his own now blood swamps is on a, on their own now i don't think that they have any other armies left over here so it's it's done so. It's GG for Malice's invasion force. For now, at least. Oh, holy. There we go. The Turtle Isles have been secured. Teclas, he's been kicked out. It's, it's, it's a good day for the, for the Lizardmen as our opponents are crushed beneath our feet. Hell yeah, man. Made a lot of money from that battle, that's for sure. Holy. Along with our intern economy. And Malice is by himself. He's literally on one HP <laughs> with a single Black Art Corsair and Bows unit. I think you're still in a pretty good position to go and take out the Blood Swamps. You can pursue Malice here. He did level up. Uh, give, give me the Flaming Sword of Ruin. Just because in those big blobs, we needed, like, something AoE to help everyone kill faster. And Flaming Sword of Ruin would have been really nice. Uh, nice to have there, for sure. Um, th that's not really that great. Okay, give him the armor. Okay. Alright, Nakai? Oh yeah, Nakai's around. Let's see, how does he feel? Does he want to join the Confederation? No, not really. Is anybody? God, it's crazy. Like, <laughs> like I can't confederate any of these guys, man. Even though, like, you know, we're in the late game here. I get Muslim Day I get because he's actually stronger than me. He's strength rank number one right now. Holy. Okay, go off, Mazda Mundi. Just military. We don't want a military alliance because that ruins our confederation chance. But to be fair, I don't know if we're going to be able to confederate him, like, at all. <laughs> this is like a no confederation game, man. I guess we are pretty weak right now. 
We did lose a majority of our of our standing forces there in that battle, so yeah, I guess I I guess I understand that a little bit. Malice is gonna try running away like a little bitch. Honestly, like if he's gonna run, I'm not really gonna chase him all that much. I need to worry about um, getting my own my own troops back, really. Okay, there's no way I lose both of those guys. All right, I'll be right back. I'll I'll fight this and and uh, get it over with. All right, and bam, there we go. Dark elves, malice, finally kicked out of our land. Uh, we're good now. Yeah. Have all of our provinces resecured, and I don't see any other fleets coming around to to mess with us. He still does not want peace, though. We did murder a vast majority of his armies there, which is. Which is good. Uh, finally, getting them out of here, man. <laughs> Just I hate those. I hate those guys. Freaking elves, man. Even the even the dark elves. Just super annoying all the time. Okay, well, perfect. Well, now Gorok can finally get his ass back here. Unless any of these are. Yeah, no, none none of none of these like far flung places are gonna be for the ritual. Probably worth, yeah, just going through the sea, landing, and then bringing you up here once again. Probably have Gorok watch the south approach, because that's where the Skaven and the Chaos comes. It's just Norska up here. Once these armies get healed, they can probably uh, deal with it. Alright, wonderful. We can uh, finally start to replenish these armies a little bit. Oh, do you not have a... Oh, no, you're just a chameleon skiing place. It's down here that has them. I mean, okay, I guess. <laughs> I might as well just, like, send you back to, to Quetzal. Man. Alright. Oh, those were those were brutal battles, man. Those were some brutal engagements. <laughs> like, honestly, that during that, that big battle of Malice, for a moment there, I thought I thought it was slipping. And the uh, Charybdis came back and just all the fire they were putting out. But we were able to weather the storm. That's important. We were able to come out on top. Just just barely in the end. Oh boy. Uh, man. Did we actually lose any important stuff in this army? Oh yeah, the, the Dreadsaurian. Which is still replenishing. I can bring you up. You definitely lost like almost everything. <laughs> that revivification crystal came in the clutch, man. It's just a super good unit to have. It keeps your army going. For a lot longer than it otherwise uh, would. Uh, really important to the to the cohesion of an army, for sure. Man, Malice was just such a beast. He, he just did not die. We don't have any good like duelists uh, to deal with Malice himself. So he's kind of able to just do whatever the hell he wanted. Uh, no, we, we don't want that. That is definitely not worth our time. Okay. We move back into Quetzal. Piercing shots. And honestly, like, 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 Pimple Guard is probably the way to go. You can get a five core of Temple Guard going. Oh, we can get Engines of the Gods now. Those are good. Those guys are really good. Definitely want some of those. Okay, we'll let the Temple Guard get recruiting up. Uh, get Gorok back to around here. You can just keep on moving. Kalita, how's what it going? You have of me? You want a trade agreement? No, she doesn't. That's all right. Whatevs, man. I'm not worried about them. That, that's like the other lizardmen. They're 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 worried about those guys. I'm worried about the the elves, man. Hmm. Yeah, it's probably better to have the revivification crystal than the feral carnosaur. I kind of forgot about the. The revivification crystal. Okay, yeah, no. Get rid of the feral corners or give me the still a dawn revivification. Be able to revive. There we go. That healing is just so important. Okay, you can get the Shredder of Lustria. Okay, your army is good to go. You're ready to fight. Get that Cinnabar going. 
You're two turns away. All right. And I think it's time to do our ritual. It's Itza, Temple of Talonkon. Oh, on Great Turtle Isle now. Well, nothing should be over here anyways. It does have it's a level 2 defense building. I don't think anything will come this way. So we should be fine. We should be the fine. Ritual is underway, my lord. Okay, yeah, shut up, please. Be wary, though. For while the vortex is weak, oh, what is the this? Of chaos will slip into this what is this? Ready your defensive... What, bruh? <laughs> what is this? Why'd they spawn there? Okay, Gorok, you need to you need to get your ass up over there. Uh, are, the, are the Norskins still even coming the, from this way? I don't think so. I think they're just all in the middle of my territory. Okay, that's great. That's that's a fun mechanic. I love that. Okay, get running, boys. <laughs> oh, great. That's that's just wonderful. All right, save up my money because, fuck me, I'm gonna need to replace all my buildings that I'm gonna lose. Three chaos, two Skaven. I don't know if any other people are coming. I kind of skipped the cutscene. I don't think so, though. They're all just spawning in the center of my territory. Fucking hell, man. This is why I never play Eye of the Vortex, because shit like this happens. And it's like, bro, what, what am I supposed to do against this, huh? What am I supposed to do against this? Well, I can certainly try. See if I can hold them off. I don't know. It's a bunch of chosen and stuff, though. Though we did, like, fight off that, that 20 stack of black orcs, so... I doubt it, though. I doubt it. But either way, I'm going to leave this for next episode. Anyways, we had, we had a lot going on. We have a lot more to go on here. Holy. Going to get crazy. We're, we're into the end game. The elves are pulling ahead. We're going to have to stomp them to make sure that they can't. And uh, get ready for the final battle around the vortex itself. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please make sure to go ahead and leave a like and comment down below. Really helps out the channel. Um, if you notice, there's no Tuesday or Thursday videos since we finished the Beastmen. Uh, I'm working on some other projects, and so those will just be empty until uh, the mods are ready to go, which shouldn't be too much longer. Uh, the main ones are starting to get done. It's just some of the um, some of the sub mods that we're waiting for. So. Yep, that'll come soon enough. But anyways, that's going to be it for me, guys. I hope you all have a fantastic day. And Falcon, peace out. Oh.